Uh, the recent images from UCLA are appalling. What is more appalling is that there was complete, it was completely preventable. You could have, have prevented this by protecting the diverse groups of pro-Palestinian students that were peacefully gathered on campus to share meals, stand in solidarity against a brutal genocide. You could have prevented this by protecting these students' First Amendment right to assemble. You could have prevented this when you learned about rats being released into the encampment. You could have prevented this when there was a anonymous group funded and constr uh, constructed, a, again, a giant video with loudspeakers to play vile and disturbing footage. You could have prevented this when you saw an angry mob on campus on the night of April 30th, but you did not. Instead, you, the UCLA leadership and law enforcement stood by for hours as the mob of agitators gathered near the encampment with the clear intention to cause violence. And because of your inaction, they acted on the intention and brutally attacked students you were responsible for. This happened in front of your eyes, on your campus, and it was live streamed for the whole world to see. So I would like to know if you are truly committed to keeping your students safe, how did you fail these students at many critical points where you could have intervened? Thank you for the question, but I really, re I'm sorry, but I reject the premise. Uh, these students- How do you camp, reject the premise? These are these pictures lying? Can I are these pictures, are yeah. any of these people in jail? Can I finish my statement? No, are any of these people in jail? Are any of these people arrested? LAPD is working on trying to identify the people who were assailants that evening. We were committed to finding out the people that it's were involved It's been here. over a month. I submit for the record uh, an article that starts, uh, the CNN has produced. Without objection. Why did you not immediately send the police that were standing by, your campus police, law enforcement to intervene? We tried. We, we notified, as soon as we saw the violence, we notified uh, all of our mutual aid partners. We tried to get police there as quickly as possible. But going back to my original point, so this encampment was against policy. This violated time, Chancellor, place, time place, Chancellor, matter. if I may, the footage from that night reveals that some of the most dramatic attacks were carried out by individuals not affiliated with UCLA, not the university students, faculty that were arrested. Why have the violent agitators, who you know have been identified, not been held a, a, a accountable for assaulting over 150 of your students? You should be ashamed in the fact that you failed your students. You should be ashamed for letting a peaceful protest gathering get hijacked by an angry mob. You should be ashamed for allowing such violence to take place on your campus, which will now be weaponized by Republicans in this committee. You played right into the hands in laying the ground for attacking institutions of public education, stripping students of their rights, and broader repression of movement. 